好。After Crispin's speech, I would expect to see a lot more blind people on the street. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I came up to a blind person, I would ask, is your son going under PSLE this year or something along those lines? Fantastic uh -huh. speech, Crispin. Awesome afternoon. District officers, contest chair, judges, and fellow Toastmasters. Crispin, wonderful speech. It was entertaining. I like the way that you managed to flow it through all the way. I'll begin with a point system whereby there will be 10 points I'll be talking about. Four good ones, four improvements, and rounding up with two good points. Because you're a teacher, I believe that it will ring with you as well. <laughs> First off, you are a perfectly confident speaker. You're strong. Your command of the language is fantastic. That's awesome. You have a pretty vocabulary as well. You use words like pretty ironic. You use words that liken kids to gladiators. This paints a very vivid image in our minds and gives us a more believability into your story as well. I like the way that you use wordplay for your title. An eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. Most of us know a tooth for a tooth as well. <laughs> the first one would be a bit rarer, so fantastic job on that. Your use of stories painted a very nice image for us when you're talking about Harirao Gandhi and how his story was pathetic but not well known. Fantastic. These are the four strong points that you had. In terms of the improvement, what actually was the point of the story? You shared with us a lot about what Harila went through, but what was the main aim? Was it really linked to the title of an eye for an eye? Next, was your speech supposed to persuade or inform us of the situation? The line was not very clear. Halfway through, it looked like an informative speech. The other halfway through, you attempted to persuade us, but didn't really drive through on the point. So perhaps a little bit of focus could be used there. For example, parents, avoid these things that stress out your children during exam times. That would have converted it into a persuasive speech, for example. In terms of the other things, two other points, shifting of weight. You tended to shift a little bit, and in terms of your motions, you were very frequent in the number of gesturations that you had. While this is not usually a problem, I believe that since you are already a strong speaker, Controlling these emotions might bring you to the next level. Some of the gesturings that you used were to the point, driving home points. Fantastic. But one point for that, when on the stage, perhaps elbows out would improve the wave of the motions you had. To hammer home a point, you could use what Obama used before he was elected, the hammer. Rather than pointing this way, which some people might find offensive, a hammer uses a curved end of your hand to drive home a point. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So it feels like it's a less aggressive approach. Those were the four improvement points. A couple of good points. Vocal variety was well used. You differentiated very well between yourself and the two-year-old, or six-year-old. The timing was well rehearsed. Seven minutes, 24. Very sharp, very to the point. It shows that you put in a lot of effort into your speech. Overall, it's impressive in its own right. I believe you will move very far as a speaker.